Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode, and today's is a good one. I want to talk about forgotten jerkbait colors that are still some of the best colors out there that you can throw. You know, we've seen huge advancement in the jerkbait world over the last couple of years to the point where one of the biggest factors in terms of separating a jerkbait from a different jerkbait is color. So we're seeing companies come out with some extremely artistic colors that in my opinion are selling the anglers more than selling the fish. Meaning, you know, the colors are so beautiful that anglers are taking them and, and using them because they look so good. But in reality, I don't know that they are truly a huge factor when it comes to getting the fish to bite. And what this has done over the years has moved us away some, from some colors that are more basic, but are truly well-known, proven fish catching colors. So I wanna bring up a couple of colors that in my opinion, I feel like have been forgotten about, but are proven fish catching colors that are still ones that I throw on a regular basis. Before I get into sharing what these colors are with you, I wanna remind you guys I've done a pile of lake breakdowns. So if you're looking for some help, say in the winter months that are coming up, uh, check out the lake breakdowns that I've done. I've done a bunch that are both for uh, northern fisheries as well as just smallmouth fisheries. If you're down south, places like Cumberland, Dale Hollow, uh, Table Rock, places uh, where jerk baits are definitely a proven factor. So for each of those, we give 40 different waypoints located throughout the lake with a bunch of different techniques and patterns that you can use to find the fish. So check those out. The link is in the breakdown or the description of the video. And as well as if you want to support the channel in other ways, please use the Tackle Warehouse affiliate link to do your tackle purchasing for the upcoming Christmas season. Uh, my uh, affiliate link is in the description as well. That's very much appreciated. While you're at it, you can go ahead and bookmark that too for future purchases. Uh, again, all of the money that's generated from that comes right back to making content for you guys out there. So hopefully I'm helping you catch a few additional fish and tips like this is why you keep coming back. You know, like I mentioned before, the jerkbait color schemes have gotten so beautiful and artistic that I think it's one of the things that's actually driving up the prices of jerkbaits is, you know, we're trying to separate, companies are trying to separate jerkbait jerk baits based on the color schemes. And in reality, we have a pile of fish catching color schemes that are proven and very simple. And it's almost like the companies are moving away from them. You know, a lot of these colors that I've got here for you are so basic that you can't even find them anymore. Companies aren't coming out with these color schemes because they're too simple. And yet they're some of the best well-known color schemes out there. So for example, the first one I'm going to start with is one of my all-time favorites. It's the simple clown color. I've got uh, both a Mega Bass Vision 110 here as well as a Suspending Rogue in clown, which is just silver sides with kind of a yellow back and a red head. This is a color that's been around for years and years and years. You go back to some of the old Hedden baits, the South Bend baits, and it was a yellow bait with a red head. It's a proven fish catching color. It's one that triggers the fish to strike, but yet a lot of jerkbait companies now don't even offer this color because it's too basic. People don't want clown because it's not the cool new thing. But I can assure you, clown is one of the best jerkbait colors out there, regardless of bass species that you're after. There are days when this color just triggers those fish to bite. So clown is one I think you absolutely need to have. Another basic one. What happened to this, guys? Just the silver and black back. I've got here a Rapala X-Wrap and another Rogue. This is just such a basic color that is one of the best uh, shad mimicking colors out there. I mean, it's silver with a black back. Such a bland color, nothing special to it. Probably one of the oldest colors in the history of baits. Well, it's one of the best proven fish catching colors. You wanna mimic the shad, you go with a chrome side, a black back, no matter where you're at in the country from Florida all the way up to the northern part of the world, and this color catches fish. Uh, it's a simple color, but again, 
I challenge you guys, go look at some of the companies of the jerk baits that you like to use. A lot of companies don't even offer that color anymore because it's not flashy enough. It doesn't catch you and I, the angler, in terms of making the purchase. Because honestly, and I'm guilty of this too, if I see if I see a you know a, a silver and black bat back bait, or I see something that's got some cool artistic colors. I'm probably not buying this, except for the fact that I know that this is a proven fish catching color, and therefore I do have it in pretty much all of the jerk baits that I throw. But I think to most people out there, they're not going to make that purchase. Here's another one. This is one that when it came out, it was one of the hottest ones out there, but has since kind of died down because again, it's just something that's not all that super flashy. Table Rock Shad. When this color came out, everyone had to have it. Well, what's happened to it since then is it's died off. People don't use it. Now you can find this in most companies' jerk baits, but again, you don't hear nearly as much about it, except for the guys that were throwing jerk baits, you know, when they first kind of took off, people realized the draw power of Table Rock Shad, which is basically a chartreuse side followed by like a purplish kind of iridescent color back. As you can see, these are three different versions. I've got here the Berkeley Stunna, I've got here the Old Suspending Rogue, and I've got a Mega Bass Vision 110. These are all three variations. These all work great when it comes to the Table Rock Shad color. It's one of my all-time favorite jerkbait colors, uh, especially if I'm fishing water that's got a little bit of color to it. It just seems to generate strikes when some of the more basic or ear, uh, translucent colors don't work as well. The last color is one that has a huge following still down in Florida, but that's like the only place I see people talking about it. But it is one that for me is probably the uh, most consistent producers throughout the year when you're talking jerk bids. So this is again, one that is one of the most basic colors, but we've moved away from and that is just your gold black back. Similar to the silver black back, uh, generally speaking, you've got a little bit of an orange belly, but it's a gold chrome with a black back. Pretty straightforward. Most companies will offer this color, but again, it's one that just doesn't seem to have much traction unless you're down in Florida. It works great in off-colored water, which is why Florida anglers like it in that tannic color. It's one of the reasons why I love it up here in the northern part of the world. I've got a lot of tannic stained lakes up here as well, but it works really well all over the place. I've had some phenomenal days on a gold jerk bait uh, on Lake Gunnersville. It doesn't matter. It's one bait that generates a lot of strikes. Uh, regardless of brand, they're all a little bit different. Again, I've got the Berkeley Stunna. I've got a Rapala X-Wrap as well as a Vision 110. Uh, these are all very good colors, and it's a color that I think if you're a jerk bait fisherman, you need to have. It's one of the best all around colors, regardless of water color, regardless of uh, current, regardless of water temperature. The gold, ba gold black back is one of the best jerk baits to use anywhere, hands down, and again, regardless of species. But it's one that you don't hear about people throwing unless you're in Florida. So that's right there, four of my favorite jerkbait colors that I consider forgotten colors. They are like, those are, if you go back to when jerkbaits were created, the suspending jerkbaits with some of the originals, like the Husky Jerk, uh, you know, you've got here the uh, Rogue, you know, some of the original suspending jerkbaits, these were like some of the few colors that were offered, but they're colors that have been used for years and years and years. You go back a hundred years and these are some of the colors that were kind of chosen and we've known that they've, they've withstood, withstood the test of time. They are proven fish catching colors. But at this point, we kind of forgotten about them because our you know lure painters have gotten so good that why would you just go with a basic paint job like this? Give me something cool and crazy that the fish haven't seen. But in reality, these are ones that we should not have forgotten about. So in the comment section, if there's baits that I've mentioned here that you like, let me know, as well as if you think there's other forgotten jerkbait colors that we've gotten away from so that other anglers can learn from you guys as well. 
It's a great way for us to share some information and it's very much appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you watch the videos and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to help us out. And at the same time, make sure you stay tuned. We'll have a new one coming out tomorrow for you.